Krishna. That seems like it's a family from Kashmir. Our people are suffering. Kashmir is going on. The whole of Kashmir is going on. The whole of Kashmir is going on. Hey, you ready for the video? Yeah, I'm ready, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Perfect. Conscious practice. What's conscious? This is Vish and Elias. And today we'll be responding to the Kashmir files. My name is Vish. I'm an aspiring yogi, love all things meditation, wisdom, and yoga based. Super grateful to have Elias here on the show. Want to introduce yourself? Yeah, so I'm a third year student at UT Austin studying biochemistry and humanities. Uh, interested in going to medical school, and I'm also a Palestinian Muslim. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see where this goes. Yeah, cool little background there. Appreciate you being here. And without further ado, all right, let's get into the video. पंडितों को किसी ने नहीं भगाया वो खुद भागे गवर्नर से मिल गए कश्मीर 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 हमारा था। तू जानता ही क्या है के बारे में? देश की तकदीर वही बदल सकता है जिसके पास ये पावर है पॉलिटिकल पावर पॉलिटिक्स का बस एक ही अंत है विनाश मौत तो मौत के डर से मैं भी कायर बन जाऊं और मुझ पर फटा था तुम पर नहीं पद्मश्री मुझे ऐसे ही नहीं मिला ना पद्मश्री आपको आजादी पंडितों ने तो कभी कोई बदतूक नहीं उठाई क्यों एंड वील नेवर अलाउ कश्मीर टू बी एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ दिस कंट्री चाहे उसके लिए आप क्यों ना लगानी पड़े दिस इज द टाइम फॉर जस्टिस कृष्णा क्या कश्मीरी पंडितों को वापस अपने घर कश्मीर जाने का मौका मिलेगा इस दिस जस्टिस इट्स इनक्रेडिबल द रोल दैट चिल्ड्रन हैव इन दिस वीडियो आई एम नोटिसिंग So Elias, uh, what are your first thoughts after watching this uh, reaction? Yeah, I'd have to say immediately the first thing that that kind of came to mind was thinking about um, being a Palestinian and what what justice and freedom means as a Palestinian. And I don't think it's fair to compare different struggles or different fights for liberation. I don't think that you can compare the Kashmiri fight and the Palestinian fight for liberation. but i do believe that they they share in essence this this idea of freedom and that was a, that was a common theme in the trailer that 
um, that you know we are a people and we should fight and we should maintain our, our values for the sake of uh, for the sake of freedom and for the sake of justice and that's something that I personally feel and I know my family in Palestine feels and uh, all Palestinians uh, we sh we share that same desire for freedom and for liberation. Um, thank you for sh thank you for sharing that, man. I appreciate you sharing this perspective, and um, it's also, I guess, a relatively relevant uh, topic here because you do have Palestinian background. Uh, now, I'm curious, uh, what do you know from your experience so far about the Kashmiri conflict? Do you know much about it, or what do you know right off the back? I can share more as well. Right. I truly do not know much. I honestly say that. Um, I have many friends from Pakistan, I have friends from India, and, and you know everything that I do know about Kashmir is really, really through them. I know that it's kind of this, this region, uh, very close to, to both nations, um, that there's a group of people who have who've been, been pushed out of their homes, who have, who have not been given the right to live in a way that they should be. Um, beyond that, I don't know details of the, the political arrangements with Kashmir and so on, but, but I do know that there are a group of people that are not living life the way that they should be. There we go, and I appreciate sharing that as well, because it does to an extent, whoever this group of people is specifically, which we'll get into, um, it's in a way you could sort of, as you said, you shouldn't compare directly, but you can make a similar connection, right, with the people of Palestine. Absolutely. Uh, so with that being said, uh, before we explore the actual uh, political aspects of it, what are your thoughts on the video itself, like in terms of what you saw? You mentioned something about kids and, and them having a big impact in any conflict or issue. So yeah, what are your thoughts on just the video itself? I think the production seems very, very well put together. Um, you can tell that they, they put a lot of focus into the emotion of the film, that you wanted to see mothers and children um, fathers, brothers who, who truly felt pain and, and uh, this, this feeling that they, they wanted to fight for, for their country. And I think that's a very powerful statement, especially when you have children in your film who are experiencing war, who are experiencing poverty. It's something that, that children should not experience. You know, as an older brother, I have two younger sisters and two younger brothers, and I can imagine them in that situation. It's, it's terrifying, it, it truly is. And now you having family back in Palestine, maybe relatives that are also maybe going through um, some of these unfortunate events and, and situations, how does that make you feel? I think having the opportunity to have visited there and to experience that for myself, I first of all say that I'm extremely lucky to be in the position that I am mm. in. And I know that it's kind of by chance that we all are where we are. Um, in that I have dozens of cousins and that could have been me kind of in their, in their shoes. I could have been living without food, living without proper water. Uh, or shelter, or even something as, as important as safety. And I'm not. I'm here, I'm in the United States, and I'm living a, a, blessing. a, a very different life. And it, it truly is a blessing. It truly is. Awesome, man. So thank you so much for sharing this. And um, to give you some, I guess, quick light on the Kashmiri conflict, I'll be fully transparent here. I don't know everything as well. I also don't have any direct Kashmir connections. So I'm going to preface by saying that. Um, but to touch on exactly what I know from a very brief standpoint, I might be oversimplifying here. But essentially before uh, India and Pakistan became countries, the British were ruling in the area, right? And essentially it was one big Indian province, essentially, um, which were broken up into a bunch of different pieces. Uh, and then uh, the British came, they ruled, and as they ruled, they used a simple divide and conquer tactic. So used people's religious differences to make them more against each other. And that's kind of what eventually led to the formation of Pakistan. Um, and in fact, I think the way they did it was there were different kingdoms and different kind of areas where different religions were more dominant. And based off of that, uh, through a vote, I think, is how the province became either considered a part of India or Pakistan. So one of the provinces which was a bit more, I guess, in the uh, conflicting side was actually Kashmir. Um, I think they were one of the last ones, again, I don't know too much here, but I think it was one of the last ones that were given the chance to vote. Uh, and what made it a bit more a difficult um, decision was that the leader of the area was actually a Hindu prince. However, most of the people in the area were Muslim. Um, so naturally there was a little difference in terms of who wanted to join and what side. 
um, or even the third side, which is just to be completely independent, right? And so that's that. So eventually what ended up happening was, I think it never, the vote never kind of happened for whatever reasons. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly why that's the case. Uh, but then uh, eventually over time, the demographics of Kashmir, I think at the time, was about 70% Muslim, 25% uh, uh, Hindu, in this case specifically Kashmiri uh, pundits, as they're called, the Brahmins, the priests, and then about 5% of other things like Sikhs and even I think Jewish maybe, Buddhist, whatever. Uh, the point is there definitely was a majority Muslim population. However, what this film basically is trying to showcase is the... Uh, a genocide slash the exodus of those Kashmiri pundits from the area, um, from people that were essentially trying to take over, which they were considered militants. Um, but again, this is just one perspective to this right. whole side. Um, there's other perspectives as well. And as you can see from the video itself, there's an Indian lady with the, the bindi, and right. she's essentially talking about why uh, Kashmir should be free, which um, she tends to have a bit more of a very liberal standpoint, because that's what the liberal world likes to see in this sort of conflict. So any, any quick thoughts based off of what I've shared in terms of the general contents? Um, now that you know this, any other views or uh, same thoughts here, same views? I think, uh, I mean, it makes you really think of just the state of, of the East. It's a, it's a very unfortunate place that a lot of countries, um, particularly in that region, are facing. I mean, the poverty, the war. Um, and it makes you kind of question why that's happening. You know, what's what's the political reason behind that? What what is the justification for something like that? And and is there a justification? Um, and then you know, I really question what can we do over here? You know, do we great question? Do we really have an impact in the United States? I mean, um, we we fight for our voice and we claim that our speech is so important, but. At the same time, how much physical outcome does speech really have? Uh, so I do think it's important, but I also think we should start to question, you know, what else is there for mm -hmm. us to do? I think that was a great way to wrap this up. Really just great questions. We'd love to hear what you all think about what I've discussed, what Elias has discussed, uh, the trailer itself, if you have any other trailer videos that you want us to react to or me to react to, um, or just share your views, let us know in the comments down below. With that, make a great day. Take this joyful and stay conscious. conscious. Awesome job, you did great. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right.